Um, on May 17th, 2007, I was leaving my high school to um, go home and get ready for another test, and I went on 430 southbound in Little Rock, and I was in the middle lane, and all of a sudden, a Jeep started coming to the side of the left side of me, and um, I honked my horn, and he corrected himself, but completely overcorrected himself because he was on his cell phone, and swung back into my lane, I can still see it today, and clipped the left side of me, and I started flipping um, head over heel, I think, over to the left, and I went, um, I flipped four times over the median into the far, far northbound lane of 430, and landed upside down, and then got hit by an 18-wheeler. And so they had to cut me out, they had to use the jaws of life to cut me out of my car, because I was stuck in it. And I remember them putting me on the backboard and pulling me out, and they took me into my first surgery um, out of 15, and that's when I had my blood transfusions. Um, I had four blood transfusions through that amount of time because I had so much um, blood loss in my stomach because I busted my bladder, so I had bleeding inside of me, and I lost so much from my legs because of how bad they were on the wreck site. And Jessica was lucky to have type O positive blood, which means she was able to receive blood from anyone and she definitely was in need of a lot of blood and may still need more blood in the future. And then with the blood transfusions, it's just really helped my life and I can't give right now and I really wish I could because of how, many, how much blood I did get and also I have some more surgeries that I could have more blood transfusions because every time I have a surgery, they have blood ready for me. Jessica had a hard time dealing with this near-death experience. However, blood donors such as these have helped to save her life as well as many others across the nation. Due to low supplies of blood across the nation, the American Red Cross is hosting a blood drive here at ASU. Every pint of blood donated can help to save three lives and according to the Red Cross, universities play an important role in donations. Anyone eligible can donate. However, there are those who have rare blood types who are urged to donate double the amount. I decided to give blood today because it's really needed and there's not that many people that actually give blood and so it's just really good to give blood. The blood drive will be going on in the ASU Student Union in the Mockingbird Room on Wednesday from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. Reporting from the ASU Student Union, I'm Amelia Porter for A State News.